Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now I've used this Hemiway fat tyre e-bike for two or three months now, enough I think to form some opinions about it, some good and some maybe not so good. So let me remind you right at the beginning of this video that uh, this Hemiway bike is a budget bike. It costs about £1,500 or £1,600, depending on whatever deal Hemiway has on at the time. Uh, and it might seem like a lot of money, and it is a lot of money, there's no doubt about that. But this is an e-bike, and e-bikes are not cheap. Now, this is probably about half the price you'd pay for a more upmarket bike, like my Trek e-mountain bike, which I think retails for about three and a half grand now. Now, when I say it's a budget bike, what I mean by that is the various components, the, the gearing, the chain set, the brakes, are all manufactured by good, respectable, reliable brands. But there are all components that exist at the cheaper end of the market. Now, that's not to suggest that they're bad, but they're not high spec. So bear that in mind. In a nutshell, I would suggest this is a good fun bike. Indeed, I'd say it was a great fun bike. Ideal for those who want to just go out and enjoy some forest trails without thinking about high performance or, or serious um, mountain bike performance. It's called the Cruiser for a reason. It's just a nice bike to ride and enjoy the outdoors on. Now I've ridden this bike in a variety of trails, forest trails, bike paths, single track, muddy trails and even snow covered trails and it has performed really well in all these conditions. The big fat tyres give you a lot of confidence in what otherwise might be uh, considered uh, dodgy ground and it's surprisingly manoeuvrable for such a big bike and if you play around with some of the settings you can actually turn it into quite a nippy machine. I imagine it would probably be a good commuter bike, although I have to say um, that I, I have no experience of using a bike to commute to work. If you're somewhere safe to leave it at your workplace, then I suspect it would be, a, it would be great. But bear in mind the aspect of this bike that I think is the one big negative, and that's the weight of the bike. This is heavy over 70 pounds, not the sort of weight you want to trundle up and down uh, a staircase or, or try and lift onto a bike rack, if you have a bike rack that takes that kind of weight. I think I figured out that if I want to ride this bike somewhere um, other than my own immediate location, I need to use a trailer. Now, as with any e-bike, a crucial factor is what kind of mileage you get from a full battery charge. Himiway suggests 60 to 100 kilometres or 36 to 60 miles, depending on the terrain, the weather, your own body weight. Oh God, there are any number of factors to be taken into consideration when working this out. But over the past couple of days, I've ridden the bike from a full battery charge down to one bar, really to see what the, what the difference is between uh, uh, riding a mixed route of various kinds of trail conditions with some hills thrown in for some for, for good measure and a fairly flattish road trip and here's what I discovered. I started off this morning with a fully charged battery and what I want to do is just check the mileage um, every time the display goes down a, a bar and there, there are five bars so at the moment I've still got a fully charged battery and uh, I think we're at just about seven and a half miles 7.2 miles so <coughs> let's see how it goes Now, I'm at 12.8 miles and I've just gone down another bar, so that's within half a mile um, I've dropped down another bar. Now, it could well be because I've just ridden up quite a big hill, not a particularly steep hill, but quite a long hill that's taken a bit of a, 
uh, a pull on the battery but uh, yeah 12.3 miles for the first bar to go 12.8 miles to drop down the second bar so it's at this stage I start to think to myself am I going to have enough power to get me home on this route that I've planned which is you know probably about 40 miles or so I guess we'll just have to wait and see indicator has gone back it's kind of re reverted from three bars back to four bars and I can only think that when it dropped from four to three a few minutes ago I was going up quite a, a long hill so it's taken you know a bit of extra power from the battery to get me up that hill but now that I'm on the top of the hill it's fairly undulating uh, you know a bit of downhill it's kind of going back up to four bars and at the moment I'm at 14 Point four miles. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, there. I just hit another hill, and they suddenly dropped from four bars down to three bars, and then to two bars, all in the space of about 100 meters. I'm on 15.4 miles now, and that's me dropped down to two bars. So it seems to me when you're on fairly gentle uh, ground, undulating ground or flat ground, um, the, the, the battery copes quite well, but as soon as you hit a hill, it starts to eat up a lot of that battery energy. So I'm on two, two bars now, 15.5 mile hour. I've roughly got them at the same distance to get home. So, gosh, just hope I can get home on those two bars. Like last time, as soon as I hit the downhills, um, the, 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 the battery kind of recovers and it's gone from two bars back up to three bars. So I think what that this would indicate to me is this battery doesn't like hills. Well, I'm at 21.4 miles now and uh, as soon as I hit a hill it's dropped down to two bars so um, it's gone on quite nicely on three bars as soon as I hit a hill it immediately drops to three bars uh, to two bars so it'll be really interesting to see once I get up this hill and go down the other side and um, whether it, it goes back to three again or whether I've uh, genuinely got, got down to two bars now Can't level go down to one bar now and I'm at 30.4 miles. So there we go, I made it home on 32.3 miles, um, right down to one bar, but at least I made it home. So let's see what the battery itself says. Yeah, there's still one bar on the battery, which would indicate there's still a fair bit of power left in the battery. So. Yeah, I reckon I might have been able to get it close to 35, maybe even 40 miles. 
Okay, that was yesterday. Today I'm taking the bike along a 30, 35 mile, uh, fairly level road um, route, just to compare the difference in the, the how much battery charge it uses up. Um, so fairly flat, um, one or two slight rises, but generally speaking, fairly flat. Uh, tarmac all the way, uh, and it'll be interesting to see what the difference is. And here we are, a fully charged battery and the trip meter at zero. I've stopped for a moment because, to be frank with you, I'm quite astonished that I've come 19 miles and uh, I've still got a full battery charge. I haven't even dropped one bar yet. Yesterday, on the uh, off-road route, uh, one bar took me 12 point, I think it was 12.2 miles. Today I'm at 19 miles and I've still got full charge. So this is going to be really interesting. Let me just check the battery itself, the battery gauge on um, the battery itself, just to see what it's telling me. Yep, there you go. Still a full charge, three green lights. That's impressive. Well, there we go, that's quite remarkable. 24.5 miles and I've just dropped one bar. Um, the, 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 the indicator has just changed. One bar has dropped and we've done 24.5 miles. That's astonishing. What's going to be interesting now is to see how quickly the second, third uh, bars drop. I noticed yesterday when I was off-road that um, once the first bar went, the second and third dropped very, very quickly after that. So it's going to be really interesting to see how how this compares today on a comparatively flat uh, tarmac uh, route. Yesterday when I hit the 30 mile mark, um, I was right down to one bar. So when I got down to one bar, I had done 30 miles. Today, I've done 30 miles, I still get four bars. That's another bar drop down to three bars now, and we're at 32.4 miles. And the battery indicator charge has dropped to a bar as well, it's down to two bars now. Well, that's me just home now after 42.7 miles, and it's just dropped to two bars. So, uh, just down to two bars, 42.7 miles. Essentially, I've kind of run out of time, or else I've ridden it on until it dropped to one bar. But uh, I think it's probably, you know, maybe a good 10 or 50 miles to go in there. Um, and that would take us up near that 50 miles or beyond on a battery charge, which I think is pretty good. So let's just see what the battery itself is suggesting. And the battery itself is still indicating uh, two bars, two green lights there. So um, I would suggest there's still a fair amount of um, energy in this battery, probably enough to get beyond 50 miles, maybe even approaching 60 miles. It's perhaps not surprising that the battery performed best on the road route. I was riding it fairly conservatively, rolling along about 13, 14, 14 miles an hour um, on the third speed setting. Now the factory settings of this bike have five different speed assist settings, but I changed it to nine just to uh, give me a bit more variety. So the third setting is fairly well down the scale. Now on the road, I managed to get just over 42 miles just as the charge dropped to two bars. And I reckon there's at least another 10 to 50 miles on the remaining charge. So Hemingway's claim of 60 to 100K in a single charge is pretty sound. However, when I rode the bike off-road in, 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 in a variety of underfoot conditions, including some pretty muddy single track and uh, on a relatively hilly course with some steep trails. I only managed 32 miles with one bar of battery life left. Now, I think it's fair to say you, uh, you use pedal assist much more 
when you're off-road. So it's not at all surprising that you get less miles to a charge. Now, having said that, it's not a bad return for an off-road trip. I reckon I could have squeezed maybe 40 miles out of it. So again, Himuwe's assessment, I think, is pretty fair. The battery on this e-bike is quite big. It's a Samsung Lithium 48 volt, 15.5 amp hours battery. So you'd expect a decent performance from it. And I think over the past couple of days, it's given a pretty good account of itself. So there you have it. I'll put some details about the bike down below here. Uh, and if you want to learn more about Himuwe bikes, I'll leave a note of the company contact details too. And here's a wee tip for you. YouTube is stuffed full of Himuwe videos. There's even a, a dedicated Himuwe user Facebook group. So check it out. So that's all from me. Please subscribe to the channel if you uh, haven't already. Uh, and check out the community section too. I'm, I'm really keen to create a kind of active community of like-minded souls as we travel together on our various outdoor adventures. So enjoy your bike, uh, enjoy your camper van, enjoy your hiking, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye-bye.